Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Sobat from The Straight Clinic. And today I want to talk to you about the aging upper eyelid. So when I see patients in the office, sometimes there is a lot of confusion into what actually happens as your upper eyelid area ages. And it's a combination of two things. Simultaneously, the eyebrows are slowly falling. And at the same time, a lot of people will develop extra skin in their upper eyelids. And most people don't realize that there are two procedures to actually give you the maximum improvement. The heaviness in the lateral upper eyelid area would be, would be improved with what's called a brow lift or an endoscopic brow lift. And what this consists of is small incisions in the scalp, which allow us to loosen the scalp. At the same time, we do remove some of the muscles that cause the frown lines. And then the whole forehead is elevated in a natural position and fixed into place with two sutures. That's the procedure that really takes care of the heaviness and gives more of the wow type of, of an appearance. For people who want a more subtle improvement and don't have significant um, eyebrow ptosis, an eyelid lift or an upper blepharoplasty can be performed. And that essentially is an incision in the upper eyelid where a natural skin crease falls and then the extra skin above that is removed. And occasionally for people who have a little bit fuller upper eyelid, some of the fat is removed. So it's very important for the surgeon who's evaluating you to critically look at both the eyelid skin and the brow skin and inform you of which, you know, what each one contributes to the appearance of your upper eyelids. And if you do a upper eyelid lift once, you shouldn't have an upper eyelid lift again before assessing the brow position because that's probably what, what needs to be done, you know, a brow lift to give you the maximum improvement. If you have any questions or would like to schedule an appointment for, for um, a consultation, just call the Straight Clinic. Thank you.